Good afternoon, fellow youth speakers, breakthrough speakers, Americans, North Koreans, and those of you who are just lost out there somewhere in cyberspace. My name is Patrick Pacman Pettis, and I'm going to share with you some information, tips, and tools that I use on my website, patrickpettis.org, to help you build a better site, generate more leads, and ultimately create your own little empire. So right now, give me a chip. Bam! Chip! Um. Here we are on the home page of my website, patrickbettis.org. And if you like, you can get on it on your internet, but we got it right here, so you really don't need to. Okay, so home page. First thing, we have what we call hero tags. These are little messages, little statements, pretty much just explaining who you are. The rule of thumb is to have about to have at least three hero messages on your home page above the fold and by above the fold I mean when somebody goes onto the internet right here this whole area this is above the fold before you have to scroll down so in this main area right here I have my name Patrick Pacman Perez I have a quote and then I just have among top motivational speakers for youth and that's going to be one of the keywords that I use for my Google optimization and I'll get back to that here shortly so on the home page I'm what I was shooting for was to have a cleaner look versus my last few websites. My last few websites were very loud, a lot of color, a lot of just break dancing, and over the next few weeks I'm going to actually be getting rid of these pictures and just making it more of a professional youth speaker versus, hey yo look I'm this crazy b-boy break dancer, which I'm still that person. I'm just going to reflect more of the professional leadership, Latino encouragement type programs. So the home page got the three hero messages so you could have your quote here I don't have a logo that was one thing I have not put on here and one thing to remember that your website is like a child it's going to grow it's going to change over time and you constantly can take care of it as we scroll down here once again just to try to get some credibility I throw up all of the clients that I speak to I have more but these are more of the well-known programs I have a little blurb here. What I always try to do is, for optimization purposes, have those keywords, youth speakers, school assemblies, motivational youth speakers, teen speakers. Those are the keywords that Google looks for. And I really encourage you to look up information, because just, just to keep it kind of short on time here, look up information about meta tags, look up information about keywords, Google has a lot of great stuff. Just go to YouTube, type in keyword searches, optimization, SEO, and that type of stuff. You can learn about that for the rest of your life. It's constantly changing. Okay, so my video. I have a little two, two and a half minute video. I won't show it to you. Rule of thumb, I'll try to keep the video two to four minutes. Any longer, you might just start losing the people. you got to remember that this is competitive. There are other youth speakers out there. And so if you have a prospective client going through looking at all these videos, just give them the highlight reel, give them a very good, solid presentation of what you offer. I would even say YouTube is filtered through a lot of schools, so you might try uploading videos from schooltube.com or teachertube.com. They may or may not let you get those in there. In there. And you can also try Vimeo. That's another good uh, uploading site. But... Uh, one thing I used to have and I need to add here is you know can't view video click here that way they can go through and look at it on school tube and so forth so once again back over here jumping around youth speaker Patrick Pacman Perez helps students break through challenges and break free from excuses little long but it's just my little catchphrase and then I give the basics of what my program programs are about uh, most of the time I get bookings for choices that's basic student empowerment uh, goal setting is one thing I always throw in there just because that is something students need to learn about. The leadership and prevention, those are solid keywords that a lot of clients book for, whether it's conferences or school assemblies. And prevention, drug prevention, alcohol, bullying. I'm trying not to push too much of the bullying. I don't want to be branded as a bully speaker. So I just put prevention. Down here, pictures. Now this is something that's a little different. I know a lot of speakers and a lot of other online gurus what they have are the opt-in pages 
these are the you know sign uh, sign up to get your free newsletter sign up to get 10 free tips on assemblies I wanted to do something just a little different and I just basically give them free resources and so if they click here it goes to another page real simple they can just download you know expert advice on motivating youth it's an article I did with student council magazine some of my posters screensavers and usually what does happen with this they see these links oops okay well we're going to LinkedIn I get clients who find me on LinkedIn and we become buddies right there and also some other great people that you might just check out here Josh Shit being one of the other great gurus out there uh, one of the guys I learned from a lot so jumping back here so that's my whole mission I wanted to give free stuff to them that way they're not having to opt in and get on the news newsletter then also it just doesn't fit me so well because I forget to do, do my newsletters and then I just never engage those people again so it's easier for LinkedIn and Facebook and all that <clears throat> so once again as they come down here the main goal for this page and every every page on your website should have a main goal my main goal is for them to get more into my website so I use these down here he's relevant he's engaging he's different blah 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 so they click here and it brings them more into my website that way they're not just leaving the website going to another speaker I want to draw them in and help them see that okay well what is this guy about what is what is his bio what are his programs so yet again and this picture is taking a while to download something to think about schools that will have slower connections may not get the really good pictures so once again talking about who I am what I do some of my quotes some of my just goofier pictures just letting them know that Yes, I can look like gangster celebrity up here on stage. Ooh, wow, look at those muscles. But at the end of the day, I'm just a regular guy who likes to plank on the sidewalk in Denver, Colorado. And more information just about where I came from, uh, another company I started up back in 2002 during college. And so once again, at the bottom of every page, oh, look, you've met the man. Let's click here to learn about his programs. Once again, I'm trying to just guide them through my website. I'm trying to invite them in, get to know who I am, why is my connection so slow? Darn you, AT&T. I like to put a lot of action pictures. I, I have a lot of other speaking buddies who do more of the headshots, the glamour shots. They look all sexy and nice. I tend to like putting action shots. So this was after an assembly in Oregon that I did. Look, uh, he's cool with the kids. The kids are being goofy with him. He's a real guy. Just showing that vulnerability. These are some other pictures that I've done. Just wanted to throw those up there like, oh, wow, look, he dances. And he's Mexican. Great. Okay, so coming to the programs page. Having your programs, and here's one thing that I would say look out for. Don't have like 500 programs. I, I see a lot of speakers who have a program for this and that and money and education, getting out of debt, being a leader. Stick to one hardcore keynote or assembly program. So mine, I dubbed it Mad Skills for Student Success, which is actually the title of my book. But the assembly keynote actually came about five years before the book ever came out. But I just like that name. It kind of encompassed what I was shooting for. This I'm going to be redoing once again. It always helps to have a uh, really catchy urban type, well, for me, a really catchy urban type uh, program description. So when you go through here, you might outsource somebody on elance.com. You could outsource somebody in the uh, communication department at your local university. Or if you have money already, go ahead and get advertising gurus on board, copyright people who can write you a really kick-butt type of program description. I like to put the times up here so clients can understand, well, hey, you know, our assembly time is 45 minutes. That's perfect. Given that sometimes this will change, I've had some programs go as long as an hour and a half. I've had other ones go as short as 15 to 20 minutes. That is where it pays off to have enough information to cover your butt. This is something that I do that not a lot of other people do. Uh, this is the Search Institute's 40 Developmental Assets. Google it, look it up, and just find the ones that obtain, pertain to your program. It just helps you, sets you apart from other presenters out there. Something else I wanted to throw in there, I have a lot of celebrity dance buddies, uh, people from America's Got Talent, So You Think You Can Dance, all those good shows. Just as an added bonus, I like to put their information on here so my clients can possibly pick these guys up as well. 
It also helps that we are both backlinked. So my website's on his site, his site's on my site, and that just helps strengthen your Google presence. Uh, coming down, my workshop, the Breakthrough Project. Once again, all the information. This one, I actually threw in a quote. Uh, this was a really good quote that I just felt would you know, help people understand what the workshop was about. I used to just have a dance workshop, and, and it, it was good. It got a few bookings, but this one is solid. I think last year I actually did more workshops than I did keynote presentations, and I can say that this is a lot more fun right now because it's different, it's more engaging. And this, once again, going for those keywords for teen empowerment, leadership, self-esteem, but once again, not trying to be a jack of all trades. So coming down here, oh wow, let's see what he has from other people. Whoop de doo. So I took this approach. A lot of these videos may not show up on school internet sites because of the filters. So I have the the uh, real simple text here. One thing when I put quotes, when I put everything, I try to get somebody from a different state. You've got Texas, Minnesota, Louisiana. Texas, Florida, Colorado, West Virginia. What I'm really trying to do is sh show people that I travel all over the country, that I'm not just a local speaker, you know, small fry, small town kind of guy, but I travel all over the country. I've actually been invited abroad, and I want that to show. Um, I should have more quotes on here, but once again, you know, this is still growing. I just put enough up there to keep them entertained, even joking around a little bit. Oh, do your eyes hurt? Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Over here, these are just videos I have on YouTube. I invite you to just check those out. I filmed all of these using my Kodak Z28 handheld camera. Well, this one and this one. I think this one I actually had somebody there filming. Craigslist works wonders. So coming down, he was fantastic. Just giving them a broad overview. And that's the other thing. Finding those quotes from people who have booked me over and over. So Chris Lowen, he's booked me a few times. Uh, this was a school assembly. Alice Knopfziger, she was a great client, but uh, she's really good friends with all the other National Guard folks. So just people who have good contacts. Uh, I'm just blabbing here. So the biggest thing is tobacco program, tobacco program, National Guard program, tobacco, tobacco. And those are the big people who always book me over and over. So coming down here, seeing is believing. Check out the more videos here. Oh my good heavens, look at this guy. He has videos on here. Once again, they may or may not pop up. I kind of break down my videos. I have a YouTube channel, which I put right here. I'll tell you the good and bad of having this right here. So just the advice I have, I want them to see that I'm not just there for an hour, but I give resources to the students so they can follow up and watch videos, learn more about myself, and learn more about how they can succeed after the assembly. Inspire, these are more of my promo videos. Dancing, you know, learn a three-step, watch my friend Gabriel dance. So I wanted them to understand that I have a YouTube channel. Once again, just trying to get them into my social circle. But here's what happens. When you click here, you go to YouTube. You're not you're leaving the website. Once people leave the website, are they gonna come back generally? Uh, you never know. And so when I have my click through uh Ratings on Google Analytics. That's something else you can look up. Google Analytics. It'll increase your click through. I mean, it'll increase your uh, your rate of people who leave your page. Not that it's a bad thing because they're going to my YouTube channel, but yeah, overall, you don't want to have people leaving your page right away. And then this jumps back here. Uh, we just came from this area, so I kind of got to get that going. So coming back to the top. I have my books. This this is more so so people can know I have a book. They can actually go on here, click, and then go preview it on Amazon.com. They can order it. And the last few shows I've had, they've ordered copies for the students, which has been great. The drawback, Amazon takes a bigger chunk versus if they just ordered directly through me. But in the end, it's a lot easier. I don't have to lift a finger. They do it all, and I just get a check at the end of the month. Contact page here. Oh, another thing to think about on the website. Google, Google is the, they have like little spiders that go crawling through your web pages. 
looking through, finding those keywords, finding information that would help boost your visibility when you search for youth speakers, when you search for school assemblies. You want, to shoot to, you want to shoot for about 300 words on each page. This one doesn't really have 300 words. I, I began to work on this, but, you know, ADHD, I started working on something else. And so shoot for about 300 words on each page using those keywords and not just, you know, keyword after keyword. I've seen some speakers, I mean, just kill it. Kill it with uh, trying to put so many keywords on there. And so it always helps to... Sorry, my neighbor was walking by distracting me. It just helps to uh, have those keywords on there, youth speaker, motivational youth speakers, called assemblies, drug prevention, all that good stuff. More information on that later. Once again, a quote about the book itself from a student. Just, you know, credibility. Happy picture, action-packed again. Not just, you know, these pictures up here of me looking all sexy in my cool hat. That's when I was young, like two, three years ago. Okay, calendar. This is a 50-50 shot here. If your calendar is not booked, if you have like maybe one or four shows over the next few months, it's probably not the best to put it up there. What you would rather have is the people contact you, hey, are you available? And you want to have that online presence that you're just this big celebrity speaker, that your schedule is just booked crazy. And if they come on here and find that you're like not speaking for like five months straight or something, probably not going to be as well uh, putting a good impression. So just until you get you know a good solid four or five months worth of bookings, just leave the calendar off and just have a contact page. And mine, I you know just you know look at some of this stuff in here. You know I was in Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. Oh wow, he's so famous. He's going to be in Puerto Rico. I was there sleeping on the beach. So yeah, dance workshops. Another good way to optimize stuff: school assemblies, youth school assemblies. Just those keywords again, trying to put as much as that as you can, but not overkilling it and getting stuff in the next year. Oh, yeah, the bottom here got my information. Let's go to clients. Okay, so clients, once again, happy children, happy kids, smiles, quote. So let's join forces. I need to go through and update this again. I've got more clients who have come on board but just once again you want that impression of like wow this guy is huge this guy is just wow he's all over the place when I first started my clients were mostly free programs free free school assemblies free conferences I was just trying to get my name out there and so I would go to a YMCA for free but I would put that on my website YMCA I did the police department for El Paso, so El Paso Police Department, I did free events for the University of Texas El Paso where I was going to school. So I'll just put the big names up there, once again, big names, wow, he's a big speaker. So going through here, okay, this little part right here, and not that it's you know this huge deal, I put this kind of to deter the people who contact me asking for free shows. I know sometimes, you know, you'll get those emails, oh, we're a very low income school in the boonies, nobody ever comes out here, we're non-profit, we're, we're a church, just something where they're wanting you to come out for free. Whether you do it for free or not, that's up to you. I just got to a point where I decided, well, it's what's happening is I'm, the more free shows I do, I'm just getting more free shows. And so I just deliberately go out now and find organizations that I really love to support. Uh, Cost of Travis County, I'll do one free assembly a year. Darty Jordan Rec Center, uh, Austin Parks and Recreational Center, I do free workshops and then I do my regular Meals on Wheels volunteer service. Over here, some of the uh, bureaus I'm a part of, once again, just trying to show that I'm not just some fly-by-night speaker who's going to be here and be gone and never be heard from again, but that I'm actually part of other bigger organizations. And I can talk about bureaus later. So now, let's take our relationship to the next level. Totally stole that from a uh, fluffy guy, Enrique Iglesias, Gabriel Iglesias. I have an 800 number. I went to voipo.com, V-O-I-P-O.com. It's 35 bucks a year to get a forwarding number. So this is just a mask, and it goes to another number. They can also email me or my contact information.
one thing you could put up here some speakers do some speakers don't I just decided not to but have a little section that just says what is your budget or I hire speakers within the budget range of just to kind of get a feel for are they gonna be able be able to afford you just something to think about to help filter through and you know get those really good solid leads now something else on this website let's go to do 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 let's click here it's called a vanity site vanity sites are those super secret websites or websites that you can send your audience to when you're on stage pretty much this is a site where you're trying to send people to get some type of incentive but also allow them to have an opt-in which means you're collecting their information you're getting their email so you can keep them updated on your future books presentations workshops you name it so I have keep on dancing dot info right here my big hook is hey I use a lot of music in my shows if you like the music you heard I got the playlist at keep on dancing dot info so they come here they can get all the music from my show uh, this was a workshop I did so I didn't really upload that stuff oh also you can go to my that site check out my books preview it my t-shirt and then over here oh well look we can enter to win more stuff once again name email and once again this is all reversed from what a lot of other people do so you have your choice most people will have all the goodies like here's what you'll get if you sign in I just went the opposite direction you know what I'm just gonna hook you up if you sign in we'll just take that relationship to the next level so your choice jumping back here okay on the last conversation we had I was talking about meta tags keywords those are what we call I guess back-end type optimization I know this is probably mumbo-jumbo to some of you who are just new to this but uh, let me see if I can pull that up here no uh, let's see here so like right here you see exciting youth speaker with style high school assemblies and conferences that is also generating more presence on Google uh, let's go to programs and then it has teen speaker Patrick bed is inspires teens to live inspired that's redundant but yeah I put it up there because I'm American what that is doing is once again all those little crawlers those little spiders as we call them that Google has is going through the websites and just looking at those keywords high school assembly youth speaker youth speakers and it it pretty much just raises your presence on online but then you've also got all the backlinking and all that stuff so you can pay a pretty penny to get ranked pretty high up on Google oh look at that t-shirt I'm wearing that right now okay I think that is just about it a uh, real simple look at everything once again remember having your your hero messages I could even have like a uh, replace this quote with you know breakdance breakthrough or one of my slogans that I use if you don't have a hardcore following yet maybe lay off the calendar and just have people contact you the reviews the books the clients so if you have any questions you can always just give me a holler patrick at patrickbettis.org or go on here and follow me at all of my social media circles please be sure to comment go ahead subscribe if you like you can become part of our breakthrough speaker series by going to actually what did I do at that site you know what I'll put it in the uh, in the description of below my coffee is wearing off my brain is shutting down so that is the information if you have any questions comments complaints or threats you can always hit me up until then be good be real be American Chinese. All right. Bye-bye.